Today, the Beatles get the rock band treatment, and we go hands-on with Tomb Raider Underworld. Plus, exclusive news about a playable Obama and Palin coming to merch, too. You betcha. And we review Midnight Club Los Angeles. X-Play starts now. We're TV's most watched video game show. I'm Morgan Webb. And I'm Adam Sessler. We're coming to you from the G4 Studios in Los Angeles on Thursday, October 30th. Coming up, we go hands on with a new demo of Tomb Raider Underworld and learn why Lara Croft has no respect for England's tough anti gun laws. Plus, Gears of War 2's Cliff Lazinski gushes about comic books in the latest installment of Cliff Notes. And then we crack some skulls and stay up all night with Warhammer Online. But first, big music and political news in our gaming update. It's official. Apple Core Limited are teaming up with Harmonix and MTV Games to create a brand new exclusive rock band video game featuring the iconic music of the Beatles. According to Harmonix CEO Alex Rogopoulos, this will be a custom game built from the ground up, not just another rock band song expansion pack. Currently slated for release in holiday 2009, the Fab Four game was creatively conceived with input from Sir Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr, along with Olivia Harrison and Yoko Ono Lennon. Hmm. In addition, Giles Martin, co-producer of the Beatles' Love Project, will serve as the music producer on the video game. The only remaining question for music fans now is which of the two biggies will be willing to break the bank to sign Led Zeppelin. Next, we have exclusive, world-exclusive new gameplay footage of the upcoming downloadable content for Mercenaries 2, World in Flames. Yes, the rumors from earlier this week have turned out to be true. Pandemic, the game's developer, was kind enough to send us a build of the upcoming DLC to play as presidential candidate Barack Obama and vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin. Soon, you too will have the opportunity to climb aboard the turret of a heavy tank as Barack Obama or blow the wheels off of everything in sight as Sarah Palin. When asked for comment, Tom Stratton from Pandemic Studios tells X-Play, quote, Mercenaries 2 is a game seemingly ripped straight out of today's headlines and fueled with the same type of over-the-top action found in the best summer blockbuster film. It only makes sense we inject the game with a spin on current affairs. The timing was too good to let pass. Next, Sega has announced they will publish the sci-fi first-person shooter The Conduit in North America and Europe. The game's developer, High Voltage Software, has created this Wii exclusive shooter using an engine that was designed specifically for the Wii. The Conduit is currently scheduled to be released sometime next year and will include support for the new Wii Motion Plus and Wii Speak peripherals to enable precision targeting and voice chat during multiplayer games. Finally, at least one more Vin Diesel video game is headed our way. Atari has announced they have purchased the rights to publish the Chronicles of Riddick, Assault on Dark Athena. The game is being developed by Star Wars Studios, the same team who worked on the original Xbox and PC title, The Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay. In addition, Atari is rumored to have purchased the publishing rights to Ghostbusters, the video game. According to a report from Variety, Atari plans to publish the game next summer in conjunction with the film's 25th anniversary. Well, that's it for today's gaming update. For the latest news, be sure to check out our website, g4tv.com slash xplay where there's even more footage of Palin and Obama in merch too. But now, let's go over to Morgan, who can solve puzzles and host at the same time. I am very talented. Lara Croft is back and rendered better than ever in Tomb Raider Underworld, thanks to a brand new engine designed specifically for the game. Now this time around, the treasure hunter is in search of Thor's hammer, but will it allow her to transform into a mild-mannered doctor with a limp? Well, we're gonna find out. Let's go hands-on. Raider Underworld features interactive environments, dynamic lighting, a new melee combat system, and plenty of adrenaline-filled action. With a journey that takes Lara Croft from Thailand all the way to the jungles of Mexico, expect a variety of deadly enemies, signature acrobatic abilities, and the most challenging puzzles to date. Joining us today, Creative Director at Crystal Dynamics, Eric Lindstrom. Thank you so much for coming by and bringing us Tomb Raider Underworld. All right, so let's get a quick tutorial on the story. Where are we right now? 
So what Lara's doing is she's going out and finding out that the North mythology is real, just based on some fact, and she finds out that there's a way to find Thor's hammer, and she goes out right after it. I would go after Thor's hammer. I oh, could, yeah. I got a lot of pictures to hang in my house. So where are we right now? This is in Mexico, southern Mexico, and uh, she has found the Mayan underworld of Shababa. And the Mayan underworld of Shababa is apparently full of arachnids. It is. Big ones and small ones. So let's talk a little bit about the combat system that she's going to use to fight off this um, arachnid horde. Not that I approve of killing spiders. No, but uh, you can use a tranquilizer gun if you want to put them to sleep. Oh, awesome. I'm going to do that. What she can do is she can split up her guns. She can fire at two at the same time. Um, she can use... Yeah, so oh. she's actually she's doing a lot of auto targeting right now, so the player's not going to be responsible for trying to move two radicals around. Right, okay. but, but, but they can switch targets if they want. Okay. And they can also decide to shoot at only a single target if they really want to get this one spot. So what is that move that she's, she's doing right there? That's an adrenaline headshot or okay. kill shot where uh, you can opt in when you have full adrenaline to do that slow motion, steer the reticle into the head and get a kill. So when I'm doing an action move and I, and I built that up by just doing combat moves, mm -hmm. then I have to manually start my action moment. Right, And right. then what else, what other actions do I, I need to take as a player at that point? So what you want to do is just get up to the enemy and vault on it. And once you vault on it, you can just hop in with the button press and then it's steering the reticle after that. So I need to press button and then I have to steer the reticle. So, it's, so if I mess up those two steps, then I'm not going to pull off my action move. Right. You can either vault and just run off the other side or, in fact, if you don't have a full adrenaline meter, that's exactly what you'll do. So, so they have the combat and then let's talk about melee combat because there is that element in this game as well. Mm -hmm. What happens is she's often overwhelmed by very fast aggressive enemies and even though she can split up her targets, you still can't manage that much aggression so she can kick holding an object uh, she can use it as a club and that'll knock back the enemies and fire the whole time. Okay, so now this game is about combat, but it's also, uh, this one's a lot about the puzzles. So how are you going to use the tools in the environment to solve the puzzles? So this is a puzzle complex that uh, we're in right now. The Lords of Shilbaba would often test people before they'd let them in their city, but in fact, they didn't really want to test them to let them in. They wanted to kill them. And so what you're doing is you're taking these thrones, you're turning them, you're moving them, you're using these scepters to get them to operate. And uh, it's actually an elaborate puzzle complex to get through all the traps and open the door to beyond. And what kind of climbing can I do here? I see I'm scaling the walls, which is a pretty nifty trick. She can do everything she has been able to do in the past, but a lot more. She can uh, free climb on walls when there are handholds. She can kind of wall shimmy along shallow ledges. She can uh, do a lot more with her grapple. She can repel up and down walls uh, and more. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to do a lot of grappling to be able to solve the puzzle. Yes, there's a lot more functionality of the grapple now than ever before. It's, it's actually really a physics object now. And so how is the, how is the combat and the puzzles balance? Am I going to be mostly puzzling? Am I going to be mostly fighting? Um, everything is paced appropriately, so what you get is combat as a, uh, as a surprise element and a challenge. It's, uh, it's still a mostly exploration discovery game with the combat coming in to spice things a bit. And we can talk about vehicles too. I know she's, she's, got, um, she's got some wheels. Yep, yep. She brought her motorcycle. In fact, she brought her motorcycle here to Mexico. Uh -huh. And uh, it's uh, an all-terrain vehicle that she uses in places that are appropriate for her driving. Uh, is this an appropriate place for driving? Uh, actually, it is not. <laughs> that's how she got here, so she still has it. Um, and we can talk about, I want to know about the, um, the downloadable content that's going to be available. Uh, we are going to have some. Um, yeah. We're going to talk about it soon. And right now we have, um, ooh, just squished him. Um, right now we're looking at insects. What kind of insects, what kind of other enemies are we going to be seeing? Uh, in terms of enemies, there are small spiders, big spiders, bats, um, but we have uh, other insects and birds and whatnot that are pure ambient. They're not enemies, they're oh, just great. part of the environment. All right, when are we going to see it on shelves? November 18th. November 18th, we can't wait. Thank you so much for stopping by. Right now, we're going to head back over to Adam. In G4 premieres Human Wrecking Balls. Witness seven-time world record holders Craig and Paul Pumphrey use brute strength and physics to demolish everything in their path. It's man versus man made. Human Wrecking Ball starts November 12th, only on G4. Check out g4tv.com slash wrecking for details. A Grand Theft Auto San Andreas was just released for download on the Xbox 360 as an Xbox original. Now, if your fall plate is full of hip boys and virtual canines, which it should be, you might not have the time to make it through the game. Lucky for you, we summed up this classic in 60 seconds. CJ arrives to Los Santos to bury his moms. He's welcomed home by the buzz. Don't f me, Carl. Yeah, don't f him, Carl. A little family reunion. What f book? This is beautiful. And where the f you think you go? What? 
smoking, killing, and some lady loving, Grove Street is back on top. For life, you heard? Not so fast. Smoke betrays you. Me and Deke with ten penny and some ball. Cooperate with the cops. You f sick. F Meet an outstanding young lady. When I say I know interested no more, I mean that I love. What are you? Crazy bitch. CJ makes new friends. Sound like we got a deal then. Another shady government agent. Shut up and sit down. Big Smoke is the new Tony Montana. I can't be touched! Plays Cap in former homie's head. Big Smoke! Oh, Only ten penny is left. I need you to do me another favor. Now that's what I call a drive-by. And all is good in the hood. See you around, officer. Word. Um, I think uh, we, I want to call back the stuff that we just showed in the gaming update because it it's, was kind of fantastic. It's, it's, it's kind of crazy, <laughs> funny. Um, it, it really looks like them. Look at that. They did an that excellent really looks job like Obama. of doing Obama. He's got some moves. Look at him. I mean, I he's know. crawling along. I always thought he would be this nimble. I actually did. Maybe not yes. that burly, but that nimble. Do, do you think okay, she this, was going to be able to do this? Yes, she hunts moose. This is only training for snapping someone's neck inside of a helicopter. And apparently hunting helicopters. Wearing and very she, expensive clothes, she as we now know. She does it all in her beautiful Neiman Marcus uh, suit there, which is very nice. Yeah. This is, you know, this is Look, a this is, wait, this, I, I love this one right here. You see the explosion. You know, we were all excited about that other explosion that we had at the E3 demo. Here we go. Look at this. Well, and, and sort of the point of downloadable content is for it to be current and you'd exactly, be able to sort of exactly. respond to what's actually happening in the world and it's fun to see people taking that seriously and, and bringing yeah. current events into it. All right, Can't we have wait. a lot more coming up, uh, so stay tuned. Yes. Coming up on X-Play, Cliff Blazinski is back with more Cliff Notes. Find out what the man behind Gears of War 2 picks up when he's at the comic book shop. Then, a true warrior never quits or sleeps. We stay up all night with Warhammer Online, Age of Reckoning. Plus, we tear up the streets of L.A. in our review of Midnight Club Los Angeles. All this and more after the break. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to X-Play. Considering the testosterone-fueled manliness of Gears of War, you'd think that Cliff Lezinski would be into things like blasting his quads or testifying in front of Senate committees about steroid abuse. But no, the designer is a geek at heart. Pop culture references, nostalgia, then a pop quiz. A pop quiz you never fear. Not when you've got Cliff Notes here. Cliff Notes. I want to talk about comic books because comic books are one of those things that growing up I was into it somewhat but it's strange as I've hit my late 20s and early 30s I've really dug into them and I really can appreciate them as an adult for what they are and it's really sad right now to see the comic book industry struggling when you look at Hollywood and Hollywood using comics as a template for the majority of what their summer blockbusters are in this day and age. I bathe in thousand dollar bills! Excelsior! Lately, though, uh, I recently finished Girls by the Lunar Brothers, which is a phenomenal story about a man who lives in this small town, and he basically has no game with women. One day he goes out to the bar, starts talking all sorts of crap to the ladies. Uh, he gets kicked out of the bar, goes outside, yells at them all, some big random sonic boom hits. He's driving home, almost runs over this naked lady in the road, picks her up, takes her home, and some rednecks are chasing after her. They're like, what the hell's going on here? They wind up hooking up, and ultimately she winds up giving birth to multiple eggs that hatch versions of the same woman who are hostile to the women in the town. And then it gets weird, so I'd highly recommend that one. And then, of course, any of you out there who haven't read Preacher, you need to just turn this off right now and go pick up all those volumes because it's just a phenomenal story about a preacher who's lost his faith, has the word of God, and ultimately goes on a phenomenal journey. So go check that out. It's amazing. I'm rich, bitch! Every week we make you drool with anticipation as we take you inside the biggest games of the fall. Monday, we've got a biggie. X-Play's world premieres continue as we travel the globe to take you inside the fall's biggest games like never before. And up next, we deliver on what could be the biggest game of the year in X-Play's massive Gears of War 2 special. Round 2 starts here. Tune in Monday at 8 for an incredible night of action as we reveal the world premiere of the jaw-dropping first two minutes of the game. Plus, we unveil exclusive new gameplay and take you behind the scenes like never before at Epic Studios to see how the team brought the second chapter in the gritty series to life. 
You'll see all new weapons and learn the ins and outs of combat from the pros. Then, it's wave after wave of locusts as we take you inside the all new multiplayer bloodbath like only X-Play can. X-Play's world premiere Gears of War 2 special premieres Monday night, November 3rd at 8 with a special encore presentation Tuesday, November 4th, only on G4. Our financial woes keeping you up all night? Well, if you need something to take your mind off of your shrinking 401k, we heartily suggest Warhammer Online Age of Reckoning. So log on and start bashing some heads. Because really, those high elves, they need to be taken down a peg. With proper chemical assistance, you can probably be up all year with Warhammer Online. There's so much to do that sleep takes a pretty low priority when you compare it to this epic game. So we're not kidding when we say that this one might keep you up all night. <laughs> Warhammer is an MMORPG, so it goes without saying that it's a huge game. But really, it is a huge game. With two factions that have three armies each and an array of different careers, just choosing your character could take all night. You want to be a rune priest or a witch elf? Decisions. Decisions. Once you get started, there are plenty of missions to keep you occupied. And while you can go it alone, it's more fun with some company. It's this sense of camaraderie that really gets you invested in the game. And it's good to have a friend or two when you're fighting in the epic war between order and destruction. And speaking of pals, there are tons of opportunities to join in on public quests. They're open to anyone, so the more the merrier. You can just jump right in and start slaying. You might even score some loot in the end. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. There's also plenty of realm versus realm action to get your adrenaline pumping. With such well-crafted gameplay and stunning visuals, sleep will definitely take a backseat to this game. Don't forget bed. It'll be there when you're done playing Warhammer. <laughs> When X Play returns, we review Midnight Club in Los Angeles. We'll be right back. Yeah. Welcome back to X Play. Midnight Club Los Angeles is all about street racing and building a beautiful high performance machine so you can run for the police at a moment's notice. Here's our review. Here's the thing about driving around the actual city of Los Angeles. It sucks. Thankfully, this isn't the case in Midnight Club Los Angeles, where driving in LA is actually somewhat tolerable. The star of this game is definitely Los Angeles itself. This scaled back version of LA contains renditions of nearly every major and not so major landmark in the city. Hey, there's the G4 building. I'm not kidding, that's really our building. Another check mark in the pro column is the amazing amount of things there are to do in this game. Whether you follow the less than fleshed out story mode, You're ripping the hood's about to take a serious hit, friend. Or simply sniff out races on your own. Okay, see you there. Midnight Club LA has it covered and then some. Yeah. However, all that glitters on this miracle mile is not gold, my friends, as this Midnight Club also has its fair share of problems. That was a crash. Prepare to be involved in a lot of them. Although you have to expect a certain level of this in a street racing game, the virtual super construction of these seemingly unmovable objects is hitting just one can stop you dead in your tracks, sending you from first to worst after only one mistake. To say this becomes infuriating is an understatement. If you're gonna lose Compounding matters is the super intelligent AI that seems to know something you don't about avoiding everything and recovering with Terminator like speed from their infrequent wrecks. I thought you were lame, but last place, get his mind. Bottom line, it's worth a try. Heed our warnings and look at it this way at least it makes it so you can tour LA by car without actually having to come drive here for real. Midnight Club Los Angeles gets a three out of five. 
tomorrow on X-Play. We've got your Halloween tricks and treats early. Don't miss two special ghoulish episodes of X-Play. Up first is the scariest games of all time. We run down the titles that are guaranteed to give you nightmares for the holidays. And following that, we run like hell from video games' greatest monsters. Then, if you call yourself a gamer, you better be watching Monday as we kick off next week with X-Play's Gears of War 2 special. Find out everything you want to know about one of the season's most anticipated gore fests straight from the man behind the menace himself, Cliff Blazinski. Plus, we have exclusive new footage that you'll only see on X-Play. And later in the week, we'll have our brutally honest reviews for Guitar Hero World Tour, Gears 2, and Resistance 2, and an all-access pass to show you the brand new combat system in the Prince of Persia. Plus, the godfather of video games, Shigeru Miyamoto, stops by X-Play to let us in on the future of the Wii. All this and more, only on X-Play. So we heard that you guys love our voices. Yeah. So more X-Play is next. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.